Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about using the spring dividers and then because they're kind of linked in together, uh, filing a curve later on in the video. So this is your spring dividers and you might be familiar with a compass from Mats. This is much the same. So this is the spring dividers because this is on a tight spring here at the piece at the top. And this little knob here, if you turn it, can adjust the size. So if you see it there, on in and out. So when we want to scribe an arc, I like to hold it in my left hand, because I'm left-handed here with this size or side. We place the spring dividers on the point where we want to draw the arc. And then we adjust it until it is our required length or radius. So I use um, my workpiece. I have it all measured out already, but you can use a ruler if you deem fit. I'm putting a lot of pressure on my left hand. A little trick I like to use is turn the workpiece, not your spring dividers. So there we go. Uh, just about in at the end there. So it might be quite hard for you to see, but if you see there, now that has scribed a mark in the plastic there. Same again for the smaller one. So again, push it down the center. Use the knob to adjust it to the required radius. And scribe our arc. Sorry everyone, got interrupted by some noise there. So this is what your arc should look like. It should be nice and neat. It should have started from the centers where we held our spring dividers and you swung the nice arc from this point here all the way around to here. So it should be nice and neat and tidy like this. All right, time to remove the waste. So now the waste has been removed with the hacksaw. So what I want to talk to you about now is removing the curves. If you see there, I couldn't obviously get the curve with the hacksaw. So we have a special technique to get that curve nice and smooth. Okay, so we set our workpiece up in the vise like this at an angle. And we're going to be working with our half round file today. So we've got a flat edge and a round edge. So there's two ways you can do it. You can actually work around with the file on the flat edge to get it as close as you can to the curve. So working like this nice and gently. But then the real work gets done then when we're like this. So you use the round edge to get that nice round curve. So again, like a lot of things here, touch is very important. So, as you can see, that took a bit of time, but a bit of just patience and hard work will get it perfect for you. Remember, we're not settling for anything less than perfect in here. And you can go ahead now and you could start putting a finish on that if you wanted to. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.